giving you the pertinent information, the relevant information on the cutoff marks for CS, MTech CSC in top 10 IITs. So by and large, if your score is around 860 or 800 to 860, also you can take uh, the chance for applying into IIT Bombay. And at IIT Madras, as you know, there is a data science program also in MTech because IIT Madras has a separate uh, data science department, AI department. So that is the cutoff for computer science program being offered at uh, IIT Kharagpur. Of course, IIT Kharagpur is also one of the old IITs where people used to say that they have very strong foundation, strong uh, uh, environment or support system for computer science students. So you can definitely opt for Kharagpur also in your list. So those of you who are interested in pursuing their career, making their career in data science and artificial intelligence, you can think of IITs like IIT Guwahati, IIT Roorkee, and even IIT Madras. Hello, dear students, boys and girls, and GATE aspirants. This is Dr. Khalil Khan welcoming you, welcoming you to GFG platform with another video on cutoff marks which are needed for top 10 IITs. Now, boys and girls, this is a season where you might be receiving notifications and you might be in the process of applying to various universities. So something may be going on in your mind, what should be, what, where should I apply and uh, based on my performance, based on my scores, which IIT basically is expected that I can get admission. So in that regard, I have come up with this uh, small video giving you the pertinent information, the relevant information on the cutoff marks for CS, MTech, CSC in top 10 IITs. Okay, so this will help you for various categories, general category, reservation categories and so on will help you to basically uh, decide in uh, making the application process. Okay, so very small video, very crisp video, we are going to talk about it. Shall we start? So this is my title, IIT important IITs like IIT Bombay, Bombay, Delhi, Kharagpur, Roorkee, etc. So top 10 IITs, SSCSC cutoff marks. Now starting with IIT Bombay, for MTech Computer Science and Engineering, the general category is 860 max. EWS to 820, OBC 800, SCST 650 and 600. So by and large, if your score is around 860 or 800 to 860, also you can take uh, the chance for applying into IIT Bombay, which is generally the dream college for many of the gate aspirants. Okay, so that is about IIT Bombay. Likewise, IIT Madras, which is second in line, the cutoff for general category computer science program in MTech is 840. And EWS is 800, OBC is uh, 780, SC 650, and ST is uh, 550. And at IIT Madras, as you know, there is a data science program also in MTech because IIT Madras has a separate uh, data science department, AI department. So data science and artificial intelligence, the cutoff was 820, almost in uh, uh, close to uh, computer science. EWS is 780, OBC is 770, SC 50, 650, and 50, 550. So boys, boys and girls, I am to tell you that if your score is near to that 800, 820, 850 or maybe even 780 also you can basically think of applying a hardly matter of uh, some amount that you may have to risk for application. You can do that. Now coming to basically IIT Delhi, there are again three programs where you can think of pursuing MTech IIT Delhi and uh, first is MTech in Computer Science Engineering. Cutoff is again the same thing like IIT Madras 820, EWS 800, OBC 740 and SCST 600 and 550. Slightly for ST it is low. And there is a program called computer technology which basically has more of hardware components into place than in comparison to CSC. So for computer technology 700 marks for general category and 680 for EWS and for other categories you can check. So, uh, and then the third program which you have in MTech category is cyber security, which is also one of the most sought after program, particularly for those aspirants, those students who are interested in pursuing their career, making their career in security domain, cyber security. So for that general category is 720, EWS is 700, OBC is 690, and for SCST it is 500 and 500. So my dear student boys and girls, some people are often uh, ask me as a query, Sir, uh, even uh, if I get cyber security or, or maybe other stream, can I go? Yes, you can definitely go for it. Because generally, generally it is seen that even non-computer science, I mean MTech in cyber security, MTech in computer technology, MTech in other streams also basically the students are eligible for sitting uh, for placements uh, like MTech CSE also along with MTech CSE students as well. 
So nothing like that. You can definitely, if you have liking towards the course. So what I would suggest is you go through, open the curriculum of that, open the website and see the curriculum and see all the subjects which you are going to pursue, which you are going to study. If those subjects suits your mentality, suits your personality, suits your interest, and then definitely you can apply in those streams. Undoubtedly you can apply. Okay. And uh, coming to IIT Kanpur, there is only one program, Computer Science Engineering. General category cutoff slightly less than that of IIT Madras and uh, uh, IIT Bombay. So 810 EWS, OBC, SCST. So almost uh, similar to that of uh, Madras and uh, 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 Bombay. Then IIT Kharagpur, general category slightly less 780 in comparison to the top IITs. EWS 730, OBC 710 and SCST like that. So that is the cutoff for computer science program being offered at uh, IIT Kharagpur. Of course, IIT Kharagpur is also one of the old IITs where people used to say that they have very strong foundation, strong uh, uh, environment or support system for computer science students. So you can definitely opt for Kharagpur also in your list. And then coming to Roorkee, one of the new IITs, uh, second generation I would say, not the third generation, second generation. There are three programs, boys and girls in MTech. One is computer science, the other is data science, and the third one is artificial intelligence. And the respective cutoffs, you can see here 770, 760, 740, and EWS, and then OBC and SCST, these are the cutoffs. So you can have a look at this, take snap of it, and then you can carry out a small sort of research to enable you uh, to decide which program should I basically apply and uh, in which IITs based on your scores that you have acquired. All right. So that is a Roorkee. Roorkee is also a good institute. I have seen a lot of good placements happening in Roorkee as well. Then IIT Guwahati, slightly old, older than uh, our Roorkee. So again, there are three programs, Computer Science and Engineering, Data Science and Robotics and Artificial Intelligence. So interdisciplinary course, mechanical students also pursued here. So general cutoffs, you can see 765, 733, 660 and EWS categories, cutoffs and OBC and SCST. So again, I would say here the programs are there. There is a data science department uh, perhaps. Uh, in, in IIT Guwahati. So those of you who are interested in pursuing their career, making their career in data science and artificial intelligence, you can think of IITs like IIT Guwahati, IIT Roorkee and even IIT Madras. Okay. And then coming to IIT Hyderabad. Basically, I am from Hyderabad and I generally in the third generation of IITs, I tell the students that IIT Hyderabad is progressing very fast and uh, it is uh, in competition with other second generation IITs and very soon perhaps it may it may basically get uh, uh, into the second generation IIT categories and very soon it will be in competition with the uh, second generation IITs. Okay. So there are three programs there computer science engineering artificial intelligence network and information security again you can see this so information security instead of cyber security we have information security and these are general cutoffs and you would see these are in competition with uh, uh, that of Guwahati and also IIT Roorkee. So my dear student boys and girls the, the infrastructure at IIT Hyderabad is excellent. The faculty is uh, erudite and uh, experienced faculty. They have a lot of projects. Research is also going on well. Placements are also uh, humongous placements and excellent placements. So definitely I would recommend you to think of IIT Hyderabad as the first option in the third generation or maybe even sometimes I say after the first top level IITs, top five IITs, you can think of IIT Hyderabad also as far as the placements are concerned and infrastructure is concerned. Then IIT BHU, there are three programs, I, IOT, there is only IIT IC, there is I, IOT program. So those of you who have interest in uh, Internet of Things and Artificial Intelligence and System Engineering. These are the general cutoffs for different categories. You can have a look at it. So that is also a good option for those who are per thinking of pursuing their career in hardware technologies. ISM Dhanbad, popularly IIT or ISM Dhanbad. There are three programs there, Computer Science and Engineering, Computer Science and Information Security and Data Analytics with the general cutoffs like this, okay, for different categories. And then uh, coming, so that, that is the description with regard to top IITs including third generation IITs, uh, I mean second generation IITs, top 10 IITs you can say uh, of different uh, colleges. Now coming to the platform at GFG, we are here offering uh, the best possible, the best possible content for the gate aspirants. So those of you who have not enrolled, those of you who are still in the planning stage of uh, taking up enrolling, I would suggest, uh, recommend basically uh, 
uh, the GFG platform for multitude reasons, many reasons, multifaceted reasons, experience faculty, excellent infrastructure, right? A lot of flexibility for both faculty and students basically should incline students and faculty should get inclined to this particular platform. GFG has its own legacy of uh, building up the foundations of computer science, right? <coughs> In the form of uh, content of computer science, not only for GATE, but also for technical content. So we have a very good uh, uh, faculty, uh, you can see. Uh, myself having more than 25 years of uh, experience in gate tutoring and along with me in my team I have Malaysian IIT alumni and then Chandan an ISRO scientist, Avinash an excellent aptitude teacher, Shailendra has vast experience in programming and data structures, Dr. Parth basically uh, a machine, le machine uh, learning enge ML engineer and uh, we have uh, super duper king of uh, YouTube. Mr. Vijay Agarwal, Satish, an experienced faculty of discrete mathematics, and then Gaurav, an IIT alumni uh, who deals with networks, and Sakshi, uh, who is uh, also uh, an alumni, and uh, she is having an in-depth knowledge with regard to mathematics and even machine learning. So a good uh, band of faculty we have for both uh, CSC as well as data science. So absolutely, the experience uh, will definitely help you to crack gate. This is the information with regard to the batches that are available and that have already commenced. So you can think of joining any weekday batch which got started from 16th April and both uh, CSIT DA weekend batch started, started from 26th April. And let me tell you that the platform is all, uh, offering 40% discount for one year subscription uh, for, at, at the rate of 5999 and for DA also the same thing. And these the uh, QR code you can scan for getting the details of the GFG channel and this is uh, what I have for this presentation. If you have any further queries, you can uh, basically shoot your doubt or any, any clarifications at this email ID. I will be very happy to address your queries. Thank you so much. At regular intervals of time, we'll bring, we'll be, we will be bringing these kind of videos to help uh, nurture uh, and help you in making your decisions. Thank you so much. Take care.